What's good, fam? It's your girl Gigi Lemain, and welcome to another episode of POV. Super excited for this one because we have got somebody big in the house, guys. But I think it's been a good year. It is. We've just been hitting high, you know, like mm, it's, it's, know, it's really and been learning some Zulu here and, and there. you know, like it's just it's it's absolute vibes. Mm. And you know, some of these people, you you know, in America, you pay to get people in for interviews like this. You know? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, no, you do. Yeah, you guys pay. <laughs> I think we are. Yeah, I we say, oh, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we yeah, pay yeah, a hefty yeah, yeah. fee to have people on POV. Oh, <laughs> Guys, today it is the legendary, the iconic, the, listen, strength to strength, the multi-talented, in the words of the late Keenan Forbes, uber excited to have him here. Mbali, I know you're a 2K, hope you can resonate, Not maybe not with the music catalogue, but we're going to be teaching you a lot today. Zulu boys in the house. <laughs> I call you Putom Dad. See, I told you. Hey, you make me feel old. Mm. Do I look old, Gigi? No, not even. <laughs> you are like you old. <laughs> are you old? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm young. Did you did you Google his age? <laughs> did, you, did you Google his age? <laughs> Mbali, how old is he? We're, st- we're playing the Wait. fourth floor. What? <laughs> with the fourth floor? <laughs> 2000. Uh, only 25 years old. Guys. No way. Yeah. Only 25. Uh, yeah. 25. 25 going on forever. I never grew up to 25. Okay. Yeah. 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 (laughs) I'm going to jump straight into it. What was your favorite role that you've played on TV? We'll get to the music because that's how everybody knows you. Mm -hmm. Uh But, yo, you've had some iconic... Yeah, uh... I think I think that's a tricky one. Um, I, I think one on stage, man, perform at theatre. I've played Tzotzi, the lead Tzotzi, the musical one. I actually got a nomination for uh, a Flutie Cup uh, okay. nomination. I think it was the 56 Flutie Cup Awards in Cape Town. Mm. And we did it at Outscape. I was playing Tzotzi, Zwaibala was the musical director, and we were out there in Cape Town mm. for a while. And it was my first time on theatre stage, and I was playing lead. It mm. was a brilliant one. For me, I had fun with that one. I think Anya would be on TV. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So MacGyver, MacGyver was was interesting. Oh, well, at the same time, I got a chance to play oh oh last number So um, I always I always feel South Africans must figure stage. Uh, we, we 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 give shots, but. We hold back because mm. of what we think society is gonna take us as. Mm, mm. Yeah, we've known who to listen to see Act TV. Miss we are go shop right now, Mama Lo, Mama, but when it's Kevin, when I'm going to be big on you. And for us as South African actors, we have we have that as yeah. as, as a downfall, mm. or we say, or should I say, as a disadvantage. Mm. But when I played MacGyver and 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 Last Number, mm-hmm. I had the privilege because I knew who uh, MacGyver was a funny character. The mm. people loved him, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I took Last Number to places where I've never taken Iskebengo before. I played I played him in a hyena premise where I'd <laughs> hectic, hectic. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't even know you had a a career like on stage, like stage theatrics. I'm about to ask, mm-hmm. yeah. which one was first, music or? Stage. Music. Music. Okay, okay. I'm a 2K, music. please. Okay, sorry, okay, sorry. Yeah, music, yeah. music, I could say music, because <laughs> when my teacher left, when I was in primary school, I was... Mm. Entertain the class, go do more episodes. School oh, is nice, wow. you know. I, and then, anyways, there's variety shows. I'll do the boys to men. Baby, I know about it, but I just didn't get. <laughs> come back. To it. <laughs> right, yeah, it right. was. Yeah, that was it. But I think music was the one that that really opened the doors for me. Mm, okay. How were you discovered? Yo, wow! Uh, it was a hip hop session called the Inaba Hip Hop Sessions in mm. Durban. Mm. Uh, there was no hip hop in South Africa at the time. Uh, we brought demos to Gallo and Sony BMG, and they told us if you don't do quite, do, you'll never make it. Mm. And there were sessions like Black Sunday in, in Johannesburg. Mm. There were sessions Nabo Tiklep, Ngalana, Nabo Hemza. There were sessions in Cape Town. And then we created our own sessions in Durban mm. with the mm. Durban boys. And uh, we'll have exchange students from America uh, coming through the sessions every Thursday at Bad Center. Mm. That's where I was discovered. Yes, the bad yeah, at the bad center. So the hip hop was alive. Um, mm. There were vinyls, there were graffiti artists, there were poets, there were b-boy dancers, mm. and there was us the rappers. And we created these sessions to such an extent. coming from Johannesburg, Efuna, wins are anything that's got to do with hip hop in, mm. in KZN, mm. they would contact us because we had the audience, we had the market, mm. and we had a, an ongoing session every Thursday at Bad Center. Mm. Would you so, consider yourself a pioneer? Yeah. 
Uh, I for the Durban scene, for the uh, Durban scene. KZN I, I think scene. I've done a lot for the KZN scene. Mm. I think so. A lot for the KZN scene. Because that has always been my dream that even when I come to Joburg, that mm. I'll create some sort of bridge to get in your Zagwes, your Duncans, your Javas, your Big Zulus or whatever, you know. Get mm. them to make money and they can raise. What doors, like, did the music industry open for you? Every what door. I've, I've had strategic relationship to King. Dude, to this whatever. is like the coolest guy. Like, <laughs> I remember when he came out, it's like, I was a Zoom trailer, like, you yeah. used to. With yeah. the dude, like this guy was, it, it, like he's saying there was a there was a point where there was quite though, mm. and then there was like hip hop, uh -huh. but like he was rap rapping, yeah. and he was rapping on, it Every sounded bit. whatever yeah like whatever yeah. it was like he was the guy. So I do I do agree that a lot of these things started with you. I think you made it very popular, but for some reason you sound very like culturally inclined. I feel like that's important for you, right? Yeah. You see, like you sound like Zulu people are so proud, yes, guys. No, like yeah. Zulu people, it. everything they do, like it's loud. Look at like Congo. <laughs> True. Also, who's this big Zulu? Big Zulu as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Zagwe. Yeah. Duncan, as you mentioned. Duncan, yeah. as you mentioned. And, 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 and Nasty C. Zulu, yes, yes, Zulu, Zulu man with some power, darling. You're a 2K, you should know that one. Black man with power? Zulu man with, Zulu man with some yeah. power. Yeah. Zulu man with power. Zulu man with power. Yeah. Got it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, man. Yeah. Was Zulu, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Zulu, man. Speaking of that, which was your favorite feature? You have to, like, listen. I no was offense you, to anyone. I mean, when we did the <laughs> Shemba Church <laughs> song with uh, uh, the Dutch guys from Amsterdam. Right. I don't know. No, you know what if I'm saying? We've that. actually done an We're international together. song. Yes. Me, I've worked with Zulu Poets. Yeah, yeah the drink don't enough just, the city, being the founder, the founder, the founder, the founder, the founder. I'm very important to me. Hey, she's real, no, though. She dropped it. She dropped it. Uh, hip hop. Yeah. Oh, it's on Soweto Soul. Soweto. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, 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 no, I'm, I'm a big no, girl. I With the Shemba Church vibes. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, besides me. Yeah. Who else? Okay. Who is your, yeah. My favorite feature ever. Mm. Wow. I, I'd, give, I'd give it to Pro Kid. Mm, oh, ah, yeah. with three Zulus on the MIC. I also keep you track. I also touch your parts with sheepskin. So we look good, man. Jang shy, sunny in the system. Master mm. Sikuza stems the line of my pistin. I catch a jiganga go stay the line of my sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> you I know really, what you give? I give it to bro. You give Kasi boy. Yeah. That can double suburbs and hood. Yeah. yeah these ones are dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I was about to go <laughs> there. Dangerous. Speaking How of, are the there's hands? something you said you were gonna ask him today. Yes. I want to see if you're gonna ask him. <laughs> Which one? You right. know what you said. Which one? Can he, like, if he were to, please, can he roll? I mean, he does role play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so we're going to get there. No, oh. I want to go there now. So, Mbali was saying yeah. that um, she wants you to like, umshele. Like, okay. Yes. Like, but just like bars, like either bars or like, you know, like Oscar outs. But you know that stuff you guys do. do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, if, if you could, please, in three, two, two one, one go. Kekela keke nta bazong kezin kekela tu lundo bringe na paski tiangke na magete matologa nyoga ngchuga na ngchugu tando. We angfaga nami angkipa mung fagu fagu intlizwe mung kipu kipu sazin. Iktanda ngapan bilngo bangi mufa si afana. Ubi kuzelo imina uzulu po yuka maavinjira uba shere laga bamba yu pen pen businesses matala pen uba pen uba mukin. Eno asi nanda jomo fana nela. We angfaga nami angkipa ndo. What do you say after that? So wait, it takes me out. No, you're taking me out. Out how? Are you food? Me and father, you're putting me in. Yes, I'm following you and keep trim back. Are you happy in Bali? No, I am. You're putting me into your heart. Smoke keep, are you taking me out of your heart? So what do you do? Yeah, 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 you yeah. Actually, no. what kind of girls are you into? Like, yeah. are you into, are you into like those? Um, I don't know, like very really submissive. No, no, no. Yeah, or are you like into yeah, like fine. you know like out here? Yeah. Yeah, me. I won't buy you. Nama, show them your tongue. Show people your tongue. <laughs> nah. You don't have to do that. <laughs> mm. I mean, <laughs> I'm into real people, man. You know, and people who want to develop and grow. Mm. You know, mm. people I don't need to teach stuff. Mm. You know, uh, for example, you know. I truly believe Gune in Tizwa, who are Zulu and Kosa Peditonga, whatever tribe they come mm. from, nationality they are, and they live in hostels in Johannesburg and they send a thousand rand a month at home. Mm -hmm. But when they get there, their wife is on their knees, and they were never asked to do that, they do it themselves. So they are treated like royalty and kings. But they tell you 1,000 rand a month mm. at home, you know, because that woman wants to serve her man, mm. she wants to be the neck. 
mm. and she wants a man to shine so that her family is developed. I mm. mean to women who are about building a man, who are mm. about building a family, who are about building the future, you know, and mm. not arguing over generational arguments that we have no idea of between men and women. Mm. Do you feel do you feel women have taken him like what's your stance with that? Mm-hmm. Do you, do you feel like what do you think of the black household right now? Let me reframe yeah. that question. I think the black household needs resuscitation. Mm. Uh it needs for us to look back and and stop the propaganda that is being pushed to our learned 2Ks and our <coughs> South African <coughs> citizens. The propaganda they push, I'll, I'll say it's a simple premise, like uh, of e lobola, you know. Mm. When you think of lobola, the first thing that comes to your mind is that we are tank. You know, mm. that's not what lobola in the black society and tradition and customs was built for. E lobola was games between the male and females uh, families. So when I take money, first of all, when you come in and marry my daughter, I want to see. I want to get to know you and know your mother, know your father, know your uncles and your family. Mm-hmm. But we need to play these games, these customary games. They are called elo ball. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So with money included. So you would bring 15,000 rand, or maybe that's what happens in Makaya. With that 15,000 rand, we then send you a list of what we need. Mm-hmm. And then you'd come back with all that vibes, you know? And then we'll take the money you'd given us to go do something called umembes or numabo or umembes or at your at your, at your family with the same money you've given us. So you're not buying me. I'm using the same money, but we're playing these interactions of organizing an event, name Como, and all of that stuff. But uh, how our society puts it today, they put it as if stenga in terms of it. So going back to the household today, we've been infiltrated. Um, a woman doesn't know how to serve her role anymore, Ella, but submissively, mm. because you are more powerful submissive than you are powerful arguing. Because mm. you told him shy away because maybe you're smarter than him. Mm. But you could have been smarter than him in a smart way mm. by submissiveness, you know. Thanks. And that's that's how smart women used to be. Back in the days when uh, when African women would and then they're sitting and the men are on the chairs. And they would advise them that, guys, since we're doing the ceremony to reach out to the ancestral realm, mm. uh, this is how we think you should do it as women. And if the men don't uh, don't agree and they argue, there's a saying, that mm. means that um, um, it's cloudy, the weather is cloudy. Mm-hmm. And it means that even that ceremony that you are doing will not yeah. reach the gods and the ancestors because mm. the women are no longer in it. It's the power of a woman within a household. Mm. Mm. They are looking for their power in the wrong places. Mm. They're not finding their power in building a house. and build this home, bring the, kill, bring the children back home while she still manages and balances what she does. So I think that's where the, the South African household is. We're trying to be a me society, my status, this, and that's mm. new stuff, guys. Mm. You go into a train in Amsterdam, you find everyone like my headphones, but if I go to a train... In South Africa, True, you right. no coco. So mm. that's what I think about society right now. Do you think men are, are, are coming to the party now? Or do you think also there, there could be some issues there? Or do you think uh, the issue is that we are now all equal, so there's no need for mutual... There are power dynamics, but do you feel like men are... You use the word shying, you use the phrase shying away. Yeah. Um... I'm in week. Yeah. I'm oh, in week today. Um, I think a lot of things. Mm. A lot of men are raised by women mm. in our society today. It's single parents. So we will be more lenient towards the female because our dads were not there mm. to mm-hmm. give us the ropes of how to be a man. Mm. <laughs> so we will we will know more about women. Mm. But I truly believe that the man of today or the man of the future is a man of Fanegashalegui couch, Ajali Xbox, and Nagageli in Ghana, while Lungoska is a hamba or panda and hunt and do the roles of what a man is supposed to do. Mm. And that's what women is setting up for themselves. Mm. Yeah, but because man has been put to a corner, like to a when I went a velunjena, Mawasuguma when Unjena. You look at the dates in the calendar in South Africa. How many women holidays are there or women days in a calendar of 12 months? There's Women's, Women's Day, Day, Mother's, Mother's Day. Day, we'll count Valentine's Day, yeah, there's the birthday. Four. <laughs> <It's> four. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> and and for men, how many? 
Father's Day. Father's Day. Every day. No. Father's Day, Valentine's Day. No, but a woman can't flowers every day. We're exchanging gifts. It's every day. No, even Valentine's Day. You guys know what you get every day. No, Valentine's Day, we're exchanging gifts. You know what they get every day. I feel like men's day is every day. No, but it's a two-way stream. I give you receive. You understand? It's a two-way stream. We need to be equal even in that. Yeah, it's a two-way stream. I absolutely agree with you. The issue of being evenly yoked is not a thing anymore. Yeah, but like it, it's we should. I, I won't lie. I I have told you this before. It's nice to be submissive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, for the right person, did. it's really nice. Yeah, it feels yeah. good. It it feels it feels natural. Mm. And and the man the man you need to be submissive too as well. Mm. It's true. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Um, the way you carry yourself out in society, Mohamba no Muntuako, Inganzako, when we pet and Jan Jang and Dot, Yabo. Cause me, I can't be submissive to Mudonga. You know, you need to respect yourself first. Mm. Then I. You, then you can fo- follow suit, you know, and it's easier for you to follow suit because you see me do it to myself. Mm. Yeah. Effortlessly. You guys are making sure. Just a little boy have kids. Not those kids. Not those kids. How many? Really? No, I mean, how many kids? One, two, three, four. Oh my God! Six. It's giving Zulus. <laughs> um, no. Oh my God! No, 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 no! <laughs> how many do you have? Four. Four. Okay. In, in counting. In counting. A friend of mine has five, and he said he's looking for two more. Oh, yeah. yeah when, when that me, is crazy. Well, me, I have girls, and I think oh. girls. Yeah, we'll go. So God I hope I'll tell you. Yeah, that's what God's showing me. Chumi, but day. he's like extremely wealthy. Uh, uh, but you, Chumi. Zulu, in Zulu culture. He's uh. got four girls. <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's really legit. And so, do any of them want to get into music? Some of them has music videos even on YouTube. They <laughs> shoot their own music videos. They've done their own music. Uh, yeah, she's behind the camera. Can sometimes. we put that in the links? The comments, the comments. Can you send it to us so we put it in the link? So my people, so this... no, I let my daughter do it. Okay, 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 okay. Don't put that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want her to live under daddy's mm. shadow. I want her to, to do the come up, but and then when, shit. by the way, she's Zulu boy's daughter, it's like, oh, you know, yeah. Is she, yeah, is so she rapping? Is she singing? She's singing, so she's not always under daddy's sh- shadow. She, okay. she would rather do her thing. I, I think I owe it to them. Like as mm. much time as I spent out there in nice. the house I mm. owe it to them and I've left breadcrumbs for them everywhere throughout the world wherever I've been and in the breadcrumbs uh, that I've left it would bring them closer to daddy would yeah. you guys like do col- collabs? yeah you... I wouldn't mind doing collabs with my daughter I've actually took her to studio hmm. yeah and yeah. she liked it she did it but she's very critical no dad I don't like this Oh, I'm, let's add this. Let's do that. Uh, and, and, and I see myself in a like, oh my god. Oh, yes. <laughs> Same seen, person. Ti and his daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ti and his daughter so performed cute. at the BTS recently as well. Yeah. It was, what was it? What song the did they perform? I, I forgot. Ah. But like, she's just so cute. Like, it was a Rihanna song. I forgot it. Was it? Yeah. yeah oh, live your life. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. She did live your life Aww. with Rihanna. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, I didn't know you. You had baby girls. Yeah, I've got girls. My oldest girl is sixteen. Eh? Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's 16. And your youngest? My youngest is not yet born, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay. Even yeah. okay. cooking in the kitchen. Speaking of cooking in the kitchen, a little birdie told me mm-hmm. that uh, I don't know if it's a thing, but like Zulu Boy's back. Yes. Somebody mentioned that? Yes. Do you want us to like, let us into that? Yeah. So Zulu Poi has just released a, a new single called My Boy. Uh, a friend of mine called uh, Ose came to visit South Africa and he hooked me up with this big shot producer from the US in Georgia. Nice. And they were like, yes, put you back into studio. We want to mess with that Zulu Poi sound, that South African sound. They've been checking my catalog out. And I was like, cool, let's do it. We went to Begumogo studio, mm. shot a video, and it's out there now. It's called My Boy. My boy. Uh, my boy is boy. Just you'll find it all on digital platforms. And mm. for me, it's just uh, a lot of people have been saying, Oli, see, like, what's going on? I guess that's the name Kulu and Zulu boy is the team. In fact, was a dropper. And for me, now, dropper, it's it's personal, guys. Like, when I write, I don't do it for fashion. I'm mm. in Zeli, I'm a likes. I'm in Zeli, Instagram. You know, mm. when I, I feel like I'm doing my duty in life and I'm 
doing what God has put me on this earth to do. So it's mm. personal, like okay. when I do music, when I create music. Yeah. Mm. It's not, for me, I'll tell you, like I've never had a brother nor a sister in Lynn growing up. So when I used to write, it used to be me expressing my pain and things I've been going through when I'm happy, sad, mm. and it's very emotional. We are, we are different writers and mm. we write from different standpoints. So for me, I like, do you understand what it means? For me to sit down and share yeah, sure. my emotions and, and, and stuff with the whole world, you know. He's giving Ooh. us a Rihanna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my it? turn. Can when you hear it? Next time somebody asks Zulu boy, when you drop, you're going to... But here, he's back. He's <laughs> back. <laughs> he's back. <laughs> he's back. <laughs> Would you he's entertain like... a rap beef? No, 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 no. I'm bigger than that. No, you wouldn't. I'm bigger than that. He doesn't no, even have to say anything. He's like Zulu boy. Big, okay. I'm he big, doesn't I'm, even have to say anything. I'm bigger than that. You know, but those I are fun. Like, I believe if we want beef, let's make it real. Let's not make it for entertainment value. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Who would who would you put him uh, up against? Like a, a a cool rap beef. Like if you could, he's already said he would never. But who would you put him up against? Oh, Duncan. Let's go. Oh, that would be, be nasty. Yeah, yeah that would be nasty. Yeah, yo, 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 because he's one. Yeah. He's a good writer. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a good. Also a really good writer. He's a good beef writer. Mm. Yo, yeah. Duncan. You remember what happened with that whole. K.O., Questa, Big Zulu. Big Zulu, and all of them. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was, and like then it. my fave MC that was, was like, <laughs> 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 That's true. For us, like, music, music, music is a different thing to all of us, you understand? Mm. Like, when I rap, I rap for the oneness of the spirit and soul of mankind, especially mm. black human beings, the black consciousness. Mm. It does not allow me to battle and beef my brother. You know? mm. yeah, mm-hmm. But when we mm. started rapping, there was no bedroom set up, clothing brands that are full right now. You mm. understand? It was for us to share a message and mm. for us to reflect the times Powerful. that we are in right now. So my most talent and look down on another person. It's mm. not who I am. It's true. Yeah, it's true. I, don't think I don't think I'll also be able to, yeah. to get into like, It's silly. Uh, yeah. For me, it's too much in my heart. Like, I hate me. You look very yeah. You look very you hey, you look stupid. Like, it's like, oh, guys. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. like parliament, you know. Mm-hmm. Funny enough, I was talking about like, parliament. These people are supposed to be educated, grown up, and making decisions for our country. <laughs> but no, and when you watch TV, it's a circus. It's a circus. It's like children who are mocking each other, dog. <laughs> and I've got a deputy pre- pre- uh, parent there saying, Chairperson, uh, order. Chair order. I like how you would throw, <laughs> <Anika, laughs> <Anika, laughs> <Anika, laughs> throw that statement. No? You understand? So you do not want to make music that as what? well. You do not want to make rap that. You know, mm. there's kids in, in Amsterdam who are living in a theater mm. and their music videos, they work with four different hackers and you choose the ending of your music video. You know, mm. they're innovative in their way. We haven't even touched the surface of where we need to be. Mm. And yet now we want to bring each other down. Mm. It's, it's not who I am. Mm. Sorry. Powerful. You guys can go ahead with it, but please leave me out. Let me go ahead, please. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what are you What are you looking to fix now that the GNU is in? And like, what What are you hoping we can address and fix as a nation? It can be anything. It can be service delivery. I'd love for load shedding to completely disappear. That would be cool. I think MK was robbed of their votes. <laughs> you think so? You think so? <laughs> I know. Uh, really? Uh, yeah. You think so? You think so? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. I've heard that. That's how I think the are. elections were rigged. <laughs> That sounds like a sore loser. <laughs> I don't know. He's giving yeah. sore loser. He's giving sore loser. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I was, I was, excuse, I, was excuse. I was pretty surprised. Yeah. I don't know. With the, with the turnout, I, yeah. I was really, really surprised. But yeah. um, it just goes to show that we are... Yeah. What do you think of the GNU? I'm scared. Of what? <laughs> They're just really like, can they stop raising the prices to go to Cape Town? <laughs> like, what's that about? Let's have a chat, Cape Town. Why are y'all trying to be so expensive? Who's trying? That's like, who are weird. we keeping who are out we of Cape Town? Yes. Cape Town? What, what's the story you with stay behind and the flights and the accommodation? What does GNU stand for, Gov? Go- government of National Unity. So now, have you been in one of the councils, the mayor's councils, uh-uh. like for a project? When you're going to tender and your project is over a certain amount, mm. um, the council of that uh, municipality needs to discuss your project. Mm. So what they do, they call the person, they put you here. There's IFP, ANC, DA, EFF, condo SCs, where all of them sitting in one room, mm. and they're discussing your project, and there's the panel there. You know, mm-hmm. with the chairperson, the what, 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 mm-hmm. what, right? Um, 
they are going to pull towards their policies on us doing a podcast like this. No, but that podcast will only speak of hip hop, you know, yeah. and even a simple council meeting. Mm. So now you want to take this council meeting tendency and put it on how we make decisions in parliament. Mm. Aye, guys, mm, you know, no, you are true. EFF, I'm DA, or Aye, I'm MK. Amazing. I'm going to pull towards my stuff. Yes. I'm going to pull towards your stuff. Definitely. You, you know, and it didn't work in 1994 in this country mm. anyway, you know, mm. but people might say I'm politicking, but no, I, it's, it's my bad. country. It's yeah. a free, free yeah. country. It's really a free country. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about Jeez. blue boy and money. Money. Mm. Oh, mining. Money. money. I thought you heard mining. Money. No. Oh, money, yes. How has music treated you? With money. With money. Hey, there's a lot and of what could you change? What would you have changed to being you now? Um, you know, there's a time where, where, where as rappers, you know, you'd come in the industry and you feel like you've arrived, mm. you know? I, uh, and that time you'd go to interviews drunk <laughs> <laughs> and you've got an entourage, a parking lot, in I'm telling you. Just for you to do this interview. You're addressing the nation, by the way. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you need to drive back to them and spend all your money, put petrol in all of their because. cars, mm -hmm. uh, drink with all these guys. That's what I would change, mm -hmm. you know. Um, if I grew up with a, a financial advisor mm. or a team around me that really said, Zulu boy, let's have a meeting, let's sit down. Mm. This is where we're going with it. Mm. Um, this is what we should do. This is what we shouldn't do. I felt like when it came to the money issue, a lot of our South African musicians and artists are thrown into the deep end and they're expected to swim in their first swimming lesson. Mm -hmm. yeah, and Leon, Kawate, Ashaya, a lot of them didn't come up because our money is not consistent. Yeah, sure. And a lot of us can 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 put up the strong face, mm. and a lot of us have not made it. There's a lot of coaches suicide. There's a lot of people mm. who we don't have in the industry anymore because of how to keep money. Mm. Mm. So when it comes to money with me, uh, I truly believe that our industry has a role to play, from our departments to our teams. You know, mm. our teams. You see, as Gigi Lamain, you have a lot. Mm. You giving employment to a PR team, a marketing team, mm. a managing team, um, a financial team, a legal team. And all of this is outside of the entertainment sector. And mm. that's what people don't see about this. And that's why an artist is never supported. And the, the premise of uh, us not being paid attention to is, pr is primarily, br primarily mm. based on us being uh, a powerhouse, like Ukam Tet was had seven million votes in one night when he won idols. So, mm. so <laughs> how many votes do you need to win and govern a country? So, mm. if you can get that in one night, no. we'll silence you as the state. We'll mm. put you in your place. We won't get you powerful. And if you look at the industry, when last uh, have as our South African industry created a superstar? Mm -hmm. Like we are not creating superstars anymore. Uh, we we are bigger than the artists themselves, so mm. that's the battle. We need to fi help find people who will help us mm. to selflessly create superstars in our industry. We no longer that you're not bigger than the channel, you're mm. not bigger than the radio show. Mm. Uh, you are not. You need to stay in your place. And yet, how do you blossom and how do you see a brighter future in that? So I think for us, uh, we need help mm. in creating idols and superstars. Like for example, the premise they've pushed and injected in communities is a premise that says that we are tired of Ubusobo Chichi Lame no Zulu boy. We want <laughs> new people. New people. So imagine, will they come support a gig when there's new faces? Mm -hmm. They wouldn't. It's true. The Until they call them many like, more. Many more. Mm -hmm. the, I'm saying no. Give promote our idols to be in an idol stature. So it paves the way, a clear mm. way on what to do to all get the up and coming in a nice way for, for them to get to the idol status. Mm. Don't leave the people who are up there to go down in mm. order for you to bring Perfect. others so you have you have a control mechanism where you're no longer creating superstars. That's mm. what's happening in our industry. Yeah. We need help. We need people to create superstars. It's true. Would you say it's artists go through a lot? A lot. Of course. But it's also kind of hard to, I don't know, you know, people might find this a little controversial. You know, biting the hand that feeds you is also an issue with artists. I do feel like there are people who genuinely love and care for us and try to push us. And when we think we are bigger mm. than, we start to act up. I've seen, in, like, in the last week, mm. a lot of things have happened. And unfortunately, you know, the law is the law. Mm. But there was a situation, I'm not going to name the people, where it was kind of like this artist feeling like a certain producer who put them on, you know, like, 
you know, he wants his money back and there was just a lot of, you know, back and forth with that. Mm. But at what point do, are we as artists also kind of saying, you know, that pl person played a role, you know, mm. in, in me being here. Mm. Surely I should respect them enough to have this conversation in private and not take it to social media. Yeah, no, that, 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 that's now. This is nowadays. But, mm. I mean, I personally feel with a scenario like that as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. We shouldn't feel guilty. It's like me getting involved in politics. Mm. No, when you are working for a state, you you are working for home affairs. You mm. give everyone service, whether they DA, EFF, ANC, because you are working at home mm. affairs now. Mm. You're in the government. So Zuru Poy can't go hungry because in campaign times, he was campaigning for a mm. certain political party. You, guys were, you, you can't were, do that. Were you, you were campaigning. I was in contests with Chiki Chida. Makes sense. So, I wanted him to say it himself. I'm still there. <laughs> I, am, so, <laughs> I was luring him, ma'am. Yes. So now, in, 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 wow. that, in that scenario, you know, we also need to give artists their credit. You know? I hate people who come up and say, I made you, Chichi Lamine. I yeah, made yeah, you. That's, that's the good. premise of people who help you these days. Mm. They want to be more famous than the artist. They don't understand that me, how our rules of engagement, when I help you, I'm going to put you here and I'm going to hand you over to people who are above me. Yeah, is anything in short. Mm -hmm. Like for a certain example, I worked with a record company and when I bought a car, the CEO of that company is saying, and yet I was seeing the challenges in the taxis. Mm. He was not seeing them. You understand? So it's like I've made it. I'm coming up. No. Tell him because I'm feeling yeah, right now. That's not where I am. Yeah, is there anything in short? What's your pop? What's your yeah, pop? Pop? So you tell him you and he's telling other artists in studio. Yeah, I'm like, no, 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 guys. So, you know? So artists, we need to grow together. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. We need to grow together. I understand you are helping me. Mm -hmm. We are helping each other. Mm -hmm. I'm also bringing in the talent. I'm bringing the God gift. You understand? Mm -hmm. We're putting in work. And we need to grow together. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So if you're feeling left out, don't put it on me. I Meaning I have <laughs> ideas. We've been talking about it. Mm -hmm. We've been talking on where we want to go together. Yes? Mm -hmm. So when you're feeling short and you feel like you can't, Anymore, don't make me feel bad about wanting to grow. Mm. Why don't you say, listen, Zulu, I see now we're having differences. Why don't we rope in someone else who's at an international level and let's see how you'll cut me into a percentage and where I can I can contribute and we move. Mm. You understand? Instead of you wanting out mm. and you guys having fights. No, it doesn't work mm. that way. It's mm. constant growth. If mm. the artist does not grow, they perish. Mm. Mm. Do the big bosses promise you guys like big things? At some point, do you guys artists get to a point where you feel entitled to what? was not promised, but you want it still. No, what's promised is the dream of being an artist. Of you being be an artist. artist. Everything you want to grow, you want to blow, it. you want the money to sustain okay. yourself, your children mm. and your kids. You know, mm. so if you're not finding ways, like for example, how many black people have endorsement deals? How many white people you go and you don't even know this guy, they're winning our Ah, wait, now, I'm I don't want to say you. too much. Do you remember there's a brand <laughs> where we went? <laughs> And then there was that guy who was the ambassador. Uh, yes! And oh, we were like, yes. Who's this guy? Oh, who's this guy? Yeah, yeah, well. And the numbers and were not numbering. The numbers, they are not numbering. They are not numbering. Yeah. <laughs> oh my this guy? You're right. Guy, yeah, well, and then you know what I went to We made our own conclusion. I even, I even mentioned him on a post, guys. Yo, he didn't even repost me. I felt so worthless. <laughs> so do you understand? So like, for us, I, guys, we, we need a lot of help, guys. We really <laughs> we need a lot of help. We honestly do. No, yeah. you're absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. But somebody actually said this to me. Um, you know, when you're an artist, of course, there's somebody you start out with. Mm. But do you believe in uh, the restructuring of your brand, you know, like getting new people in mm. at some point because, you know, there's stagnancy? Yeah. So I've seen a lot of big brands where they literally, when they're elevating, the team changes a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, the mm -hmm. team changes a lot. But maybe there's that, like, one consistent yeah. person in mm -hmm. your... Do you believe mm -hmm. in that? And do you have that one consistent person who's with you, like, Zulu boy, till the, 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 right. the mm -hmm. wheels fall off? Like, Rihanna know? is this friend of hers. Of yeah. course, yes, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, with me, I would love that. But a lot of people fall along the side way. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. A lot of people fall. Like, I've never had proper, proper management all my entire career or, mm. or casting agencies. There's, like, there's a problem with management in this country. You know, we don't have enough. No, they don't know what they're doing. They find a finder. <laughs> we'll find it while we move. Mm. They they don't come to you with a plan that this week, this is what we're doing. Second mm. week, this is what we're doing. Third week, this is what we're doing. When mm. the money comes in, this is what we're doing. These are the people that we're working with. Mm. You can mm -hmm. see a proper, fully-fledged strategy and plan. You understand? Mm. We go while we, we find while we go. True. I understand, and 
sometimes it's tired, it gets tiring. Mm. Like it gets I need you to do your job. Yeah. You understand? Mm. Yeah. So I think change yeah. is good, you know, change is good because you open up to new possibilities mm. and new and new and new ideas. Uh, yeah, but you need mm. you need to have yourself, you mm. know, more than any other thing and be loyal to your brand and your it's listeners true. as as the person who's giving content to these people. Like for example, Madonna's t- entire team are multi millionaires mm. in the US, from the guy who carries the umbrella Do to the sound man to the makeup artist to the wardrobe artist you because they know that the this, team. this is where this is where the head is. This is how we'll become millionaires if we focus in on this. Mm. And that's where it is in the US. Yeah. Because the competition is dire, it's tough. But last time we touch and go, mm. nothing ends mm. up happening. So it's that's true. why you need to shift the dynamics yes, and, and, and what's what. Yeah. You're not afraid of change. Yeah, like for example, I have the show I'm doing on the 1st of September nice. um, at Untitled Basement. Mm. I am playing with a trio, like piano, bass and drums only, nice. you know, intimate sessions. And shout out to Kinzeo for giving me the space. Shout out Kinzeo. <laughs> He's a friend of the show. Yeah. <laughs> we love DJ Kinzeo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's 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 a beautiful thing. So yeah. for me, I, I I when I first came in the industry, I was playing at jazz festivals. Mm. And after those jazz festivals, I found myself, no, we are better than this new team. No, you should do backtracks, you know. Mm-hmm. And I felt like I'm dropping the quality because I think it was me and Tumi and the volume that mm, were doing that were live doing bands in, the, in those times, you know? Times, yeah. And I was appealing more to Muritile Park and Mambu Simklong and Huma mm. Segada on stage somewhere, you know? But uh, as time went by, because with a band, you need rehearsal space, a baseline, mm-hmm. you need to bring the band, uh, rehearsal fees, uh, transport the band to mm. the gig, pay the band, you understand? Mm. It was more low, low, low 15K I would receive. Mm. I'll split it up and I'll end up with 2.5. Mm-hmm. That's how I was in the industry and I was content with that. I was mm. fine. Till this new team is like, no, you need more money. Yeah, let's go. 25K at the time. 25K Zulu boy, let's go. Mm. Uh, backtrack. Hey, I'm seeing I'm making money now. This band, this band is out to me. I ain't playing a young one. He's like, making Dwan. sure. <laughs> the man is hey, making sure. Hey, you, know, yeah, you know what I mean? And then came a time where I thought, no, man, the, the quality to the craft has been compromised. Mm, you mm. know, it's, it's mm. seriously been compromised. Mm. As much as we do backtracks, yes, I still take backtrack gigs. I, I do backtrack gigs, but things that are close to my heart, like mm. with the uh, uh, Royal Nights with Zulu Boy, mm-hmm. uh, we're doing half orchestra, half band vibes. Okay. You know? some, some nice things. So we've got that to look forward to. Yes. We've got the single to look forward to. Yes, my boy. Um, Would you devil in my piano? In my piano? Never. You wouldn't? Mm-mm. A rap? No. In my piano? Uh, no. Why is it the sound? Mm-mm. I'm not a piano artist. I'm a hip-hop artist. Oof. All right. Okay. Unless they pay me lots of money. Sure. <laughs> Body, hit him up. Body, Body hit him up. Just a vest. Body, hit him up. <laughs> Just a vest. We need to be asking for a vest. Never. If the money it's, talks. It's, it's like you saying a Zulu king must become vegetarian. I would never pay him a <laughs> what? Well, guys, we could literally sit here for hours. I feel like we need a part two. Um, thank you so much for joining us. It's been absolutely amazing. But one thing, yeah. very special today. Mbali was so excited when she saw you when we were out uh, the last time. Oh, yeah. yeah. So she was like, please, 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 can we get to look away in? Yeah. But... Uh, we needed to get you in today because tomorrow is actually Mbali's birthday. Oh, no, so, no. That is no. the first so gift cool. to you. Zulu boys, yeah. Oh, but man. if you could please, sir, no, hand over no a gift yes. no from myself yes. and the team to Mbali. Imagine Zulu Boy handed over your birthday presents. Okay. You're so tricky. Oh, no. You're so tricky. Yeah. Imagine you walking Bally. around with this. Yeah. I had her walking around. I kept saying to everyone, look at this oh, foolish no. girl. This Happy foolish girl. In Thank advance, you. Thank I wish you could open it, but I don't want anyone to snatch it from you. But happy birthday, Mbali Wama 2K. We absolutely love you and the 2K society watching. 2Ks are actually some of our biggest viewers. So I'm really excited about the new... Um, <laughs> That's I could kill somebody. Tricky <laughs> I'm tricky. <laughs> so we're hoping that uh, some of you have gotten to know Zulu Boy. Zulu Boy is an absolute legend. He's done so much for the industry, mm-hmm. entertainment at large. You can never go and speak about hip hop in South Africa without and mentioning him. him. Mm-hmm. And he's a great. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, like you could have been anywhere, yes. and you chose to be with us. Boop, boop, POV boop. gang. Um, yeah, this was a very special episode, guys. Um, we're gonna have him back. Hopefully, <laughs> you know, when he comes yeah, out with something definitely. from the hat again. Yes. Um, but don't forget, everything Zulu Boy is uh, up to social media. Where can people get a hold of you? I am Zulu Boy. 
I am Zulu Boy. Around social media. Yes. I am Zulu Boy. Look for the blue tick, honey. And YouTube just called Zulu Boy. (laughs) Zulu Boy. Yes, absolutely, absolutely amazing. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Comments, guys. Subscribe. It is POV, gang. Don't forget, guys, two months until we turn two. What an exciting time. Two years old. And once again, like, shout out to all our major inspirations, some of our sponsors, and of course, to Amped Studios. I think uh, it's been an absolute vibe. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye. I know with a drip drip mind too tight Go talk to my rock, look who I grew up, I grew up poor I had to hustle, be mature, that's my point